In this video, you will learn to compute hypothesis tests and confidence intervals for a single proportion using StatCrunch. The data set I'll be using is called 50 coin flips. This data set contains a single column titled coin flips. Each of the 50 values in the column represents the outcome of a single coin flip and is labeled as heads or tails. If the coin is fair, the proportion of heads the coin will produce over a very long run of flips should be 0.5. So for this video, the statistical question I'm going to test is, do the 50 outcomes in the short run of flips in this data set suggest the coin is unfair? To conduct the appropriate hypothesis test under the stat menu, I'll choose proportion stats, one sample with data. In the values inbox, I'm going to choose the coin flips column. Under success, I'm going to define the outcome of interest. In this case, we set this value to heads. So I'm going to type in heads. Note that StatCrunch is case sensitive, so make sure that you have typed it in the exact same way it appears in the data table. Under perform, by default, hypothesis test is already chosen and I'm going to leave the null hypothesis at 0.5 for this example. I'll click Compute. The test output includes the observed sample proportion of heads, the test statistic, and the p-value. Now instead of computing a hypothesis test, let's compute a confidence interval for the proportion of interest. To do so, under Options, choose Edit. This takes us back to the original window where we built our test. In this window, StatCrunch has other options for the user to choose. Under Perform, instead of choosing Hypothesis Test, I'll now choose Confidence Interval. By default, StatCrunch has a value of 0.95 for the level, which will produce a 95% confidence interval for the population proportion. Changing this value to 0.99 for this input produces a 99% confidence interval for the population proportion. However, for this example, I will leave it at 0.95 and click Compute. The results show a 95% confidence interval for the long run proportion of heads, where L limit represents the lower limit and U limit represents the upper limit for, of this confidence interval. By default, StatCrunch uses the standard walled normal approximation for calculating confidence intervals. Instead, we can use the alternative agresti cool method. Back under Options, choose Edit. Under Confidence Interval, in the Methods box, we can change it to agresti cool Click Compute. And now the results show a new confidence interval based on the method of Agresti Cool. 